welcome to my kitchen and another day in the life of COVID-19 and stay-at-home policies. Um, whenever I leave to go to the grocery store or to um, maybe have some job I needed to do at church and I come home, uh, first thing I do when I get in from the garage is to roll up my uh, hands and get some hand sanitizer and then I start the process of washing my hands and then use running water for 20 seconds. You know, um, when we started home from North Carolina, when this all we ended our vacation and we found out that this was a, you know, a thing that we needed to do, um, I thought I could count to 20 or I could use that time with the running water to pray. And so I realized that um, if you pray the Lord's Prayer, you can pretty much uh, get 20 seconds and a little bit more. And I always thought about the living water pouring out of, the, of, out of my life through the Holy Spirit as I'm washing my hands and also praying. And different phrases of the Lord's Prayer would come to me and, you know, have significant meaning for me. So I just felt like I was in that place where it says to um, pray without ceasing. And it was just kind of a way that I was praying without ceasing. So then I got to thinking, well, what if I use my uh, washing time, especially at home in my own sink, to learn Bible verses? So you can do this in two different ways, if you'd like. You just take a verse that you want to memorize and tape it above the sink. And then when you're washing your hands, you can be saying that uh, Bible verse. The one that I uh, thought might be a good one to start with is Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Now, if uh, memorizing is a tough thing for you, here is an easy way to do it. You put every word of the Bible verse that you want to memorize on a single piece of paper. And then as you go through different days you take off different words and just remember what were in those places. And every day you say the verse and you can, this verse, I know I timed it on my phone. Uh, you can say Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 twice and that will get you 20 seconds. And so as you go, you remember those words that you now have taken off until you only have a certain amount of words and you can still remember those are your cues until you get to the point that almost they're all off. And then there comes that day when you know it. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. When we take the word of God and plant it deep within our hearts and minds, it is a place of direction and hope and the presence of the Holy Spirit. I hope you'll try to memorize some Bible verses. My next challenge is to memorize Psalm 100. And let's see who gets it done first. <laughs>